I'm going to model um, the pedal curve of a hyperbola where the pedal point is on the um, intersection between the hyperbola and um, its major axis. Now remember, pedal curve is um, the locus of the projection of the pedal point um, onto uh, the tangents to the original curve. Um, the mechanism it draws the tangents, that creates the tangents directly, and um, the uh, the original curve is, is the envelope of those uh, tangent cur tangent uh, uh, tangents. So here we've got the um, the curve for enveloping the mechanism for enveloping a hyperbola uh, looks like this. Uh, we're going to take a a crank of specific length a and give it an angle. Um, theta uh, to the x-axis, and um, we're going to attach uh, a second uh, uh, line, but with a slider, so that this this line has got um, this link has got a indeterminate length, uh, but its position is determined. Um, so we'll call that distance from A to C. Um, call that B. And then we're going to create a perpendicular to uh, BC at B and use the perpendicular constraint. We'll do a construction in this case and create um, uh, uh, create that line. Now the line, um, as I say, envelops a hyperbola. And we can see that by selecting the line. If you have a line selected, then the locus tool doesn't create a locus, it creates an envelope of that line. Um, that is, it creates a curve that the, the line remains tangent to. And you can see here, it remains tangent to both branches of this um, hyperbola as things progress. Um, so uh, let's just check uh, for form's sake that that really is a hyperbola, it certainly looks like one. Um, the equation of um, the curve yeah and sure enough it's got an x squared and a y squared um a b squared minus a squared b is going to be bigger than a so this is a negative it's a equation of a hyperbola um okay so so for the pedal point uh, we want to stick um a point out here um, on the hyperbola. Now, uh, GX Web won't let us uh, make that point incident to the hyperbola. If we did that, um, the, the incident const constraint is not available. But it will let us observe that that point on the hyperbola is actually distance A um, from the origin here. So let's just Uh, constrain that distance. So that puts the point D in the correct place. And uh, now what we do from D is we drop a perpendicular onto this um, line. And so that then gives us the pedal point. I'm sorry, that's the pedal point. This, the locus of E is now the pedal curve. And um, we can uh, use this uh, locus tool this time actually for the locus and create that curve. Let's change the color of the hyperbola so it doesn't confuse itself with the um, uh, with the, the, the curve that we're looking at. Um, we can we can change B uh, to, to see what kind of different forms that curve takes. Kind of a teardrop shape. And um, we could animate theta to, to watch the mechanism uh, create that curve. And of course, we can uh, find the equation for the curve. And we see 
um, there it is, uh, fourth order uh, curve.